In the last video, we split down the problem into simpler chunks. So let's uh, look at how some of those chunks might look when we put it into code. So first of all, the first thing I had to do was to get two random numbers and add them together to get a total. So to get a random number, I need to use the math tool and get random number. Oops, get random number. There we go. And the maximum number I can get is 10, so it's going to choose a number between 1 and 10. So I need to do that twice. So obviously I need a second line to do that. And then I can add them together, which is very simple. Num1 plus num2. And that's the first thing that we looked at. The second thing, we had to see if um, they were equal to each other. So get the user input and then check to see if what the user's entered is the same as what, um, what we've got in the total. So to get the user input, I need a variable and I need to use text window dot read. Now, just to make it nice and clear, this isn't the final code. I'm skipping lots of steps. So for example, I need to need to display um, the question and ask the user. At the moment, um, let's not do that. Um, I haven't put the second number, get random number in. So there's number of steps missing. So you have to fill in the blanks, fill in a bit more code. So this is just the basic structure, not the final code. So once I've got um, the user's choice and I've got the total that um, has been worked out pre beforehand, I can compare the two together by going total equals user choice. Now, if they are the same, then I want to increase the score and display well done. Otherwise, else, I want to display hard luck and if. So that structured the if statement correctly, so you just need to fill in the blanks. Notice that there isn't a verb called score yet, you need to create that yourself. The last step is to have a loop. Now, remember the loop goes around the whole code, so the first question is um, going to be 1, and then while x is less than or equal to 10, because I want 10 questions, remember a while loop always has the start position, the end when well, it's going to have the end condition, and the code is going to uh, repeat, which is already there. And I'm just going to tab all of that in, like so. And don't forget, we always need to make sure it goes from the start to the end by going x equals x plus 1. This is not the final code, but it has a lot of the structure of the final code, so you can use this to help you get started uh, uh, with the rest of it. You need to think about what else do I need to add uh, to get this working. 